going out. It's too peak up for the guys here. Trees in the way there. Kind of. So what's there now? Butterflies? So got two peacock butterflies. They have hoverflies, bumblebees, spiders, and then is it a honeybee? And just in that little spot alone? Yeah, just all those napweeds. They love the napweeds. The purple flowers. Do they stay out for a good while, do they? Um, yeah, towards the end of summer, for a few weeks. Mm. Yeah. Pretty, uh... So this oak tree then is, how old is that oak tree now? That one is from acorn, I think it's three years old now. That came out from an acorn? Yeah. So it's grown at least seven feet? Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. And we all think oak, oak trees that take hundreds of years to grow. <laughs> they, do. Well, they, they, they don't take that long to get their, to their heights, it's just their girths. Mm. 300 to get to their peak. 300? Years. I hardly see it. 300 middle age and 300 to die. Sure, the rest of the trees are the same. How old, when did you start off this project? Uh, officially 2016, but I suppose they were added for 2016 to 18 yeah. or so. So it's four years old now, and all this was a full up field. Uh, yeah, just, just grass, just grass. grass. Slight grass. One centimetre tall. Rushes in parts now with it. And nature's taking it back. It has a little bit of help. A bit of help, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we added some seeds that we found locally and transplanted them into the trees. These, seem, these ones here have gone off and there's the finished, fresh yeah. ones growing yes, then. They're full of seeds now. So they must, last, they must cycle out of cycle. What's these yellow ones up here now? Uh, that's hawkspit. Hawkspit. Yeah. Is that a pollinator plant? Uh, yeah, pollinators like that one too, yeah. Right. What's the best natural pollinator? Uh, it depends on the time of year. Well, there's five top, let's say five top pollinators. There's willow, dandelion, um, knackweed there, uh, clover, the fifth one, then I say it's really good. Um, oh, yes, uh, bramble or briars and ivy is, uh, is very good in the winter as well. So, not much else around. So, this is the wood now in four years, more or less. All these little trees, is well, yeah, they're all above certainly above six foot. Every one of them, seven or twelve foot. Uh, yeah, they're massive, really fast growing. Yeah, so 10 years to make a huge difference. Oh, so, yeah, you won't recognize the place when you're in. Yeah, yeah. And many other wildlife in there. Is there much animals? All Fauna, flora. All kinds of stuff, yeah. <laughs> well, we were wading through frogs there. Yeah. Lots of ponds there. Um, yeah, night time then you see all the mammals coming out. So hedgehogs, foxes, badgers, stoats have been spotted. Um, owls at night as well. Have you seen owls, yeah? Yeah, we've caught them a few times, yeah. And that's because we've lots of mice and pygmy shrews, feed mice and pygmy shrews, and that's what they look for food. Mm. Eat frogs as well. And are um, pygmy shrews native to Ireland, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. They got that kind of a long, long snout, so they're smaller than. And they're about the same size as the mouse, or smaller? Smaller. Than smaller yeah. Yeah. Have you seen many here? Yeah, a lot of times to lift up the yeah. turf and be underneath it here. And what kind of owls do they have here? Uh, barn owls, and I think I saw it, um, a tawny owl as well one night, the white and white. Mm. Uh, and where do you think they're during the daytime? Where would they be? Usually farm buildings. Mm. So it's railway buildings, there's also farm buildings up under the side of Sandy Hill, that could be up there. It's hard to know, they keep quiet. <laughs> yeah, it's a great project. Yeah, yeah coming along nicely. Yeah.